Hello, wonderful Laurelwood kindergartners. As we continue to learn more about our amazing state of California, I wanted to share with you this book. It's actually called Our California, and it's written by Pam Munoz Ryan and illustrated by Rafael Lopez. Let's read it together. Welcome to California. There are valleys, deserts, mountains, and coast. Which region do you think that you would like most? Now, in order to read this page, you kind of have to tilt your head sideways. And when you do, you will notice the whole state of California with all these different areas on the map that we are going to learn about. Start in the south of this golden land in fair San Diego, where vistas are grand. In this coastal city, there's plenty to do. Surf, swim, and sun, then visit the zoo. Raise your hand if you have ever been to San Diego before. Oh, looks like a lot of you have been there. Pretty neat. San Juan Capistrano is where you will learn about a quaint village where the swallows return. Junipero Serra stopped here on the way to build a grand mission from adobe clay. Do you guys see the mission back here? And the birds in the sky? Next is Los Angeles and famed Hollywood. You can visit the places where movie stars stood. This city of angels has lots to explore, tar pits, museums, and amusements galore. All right, give me a thumbs up if you have been to Los Angeles before. Mm, a lot of you have been there too. I wonder if you've seen the Hollywood sign and the big palm trees. It's a pretty neat town. Now the Channel Islands. Take a boat out and cruise these blue waters to glimpse a whale's spout. Here in the Pacific, among the kelp strips, are playful sea otters and the ghosts of old ships. As you travel north and approach Monterey, see the bold craggy rocks that surround the bay. When sardines were plenty some years ago, the day's catch was sold on Cannery Row. You guys see, this is a really neat picture. There's fishermen delivering fish that he's caught and bringing it into town. Here, this might even be a school bus because a lot of schools take a field trip to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Stop in the city, San Francisco's the name. Here, morning fog lingers and winds bring the rain. Cable cars hurry up one hill and down, and tourists eat lunch in old Chinatown. All right, raise your hand if you have been to San Francisco. I bet a lot of you have. And if you've been there, have you seen the Golden Gate Bridge? This is the Golden Gate Bridge here. Maybe ridden on a cable car, or seen all the really tall, neat shaped buildings that are in downtown San Francisco. Once in Sonoma, under rebel command, settlers claimed a republic for destiny's land. They made a new flag to be flown everywhere with one stripe, one star, and a fiercely grizzly bear. Here's the flag here with the star and the fierce grizzly bear and one red stripe. This state has a motto from prospector's lore they yelled it when spotting that rich golden ore. Eureka! They cheered. What a jubilant sound. It's also the name of this northwestern town. Who knows what Eureka means? That's right. It means I found it. And look at this man here. What is he finding? What did he find? It is a piece of gold. And when they found the gold, they yelled, Eureka! I found it. Hello, Sacramento, and the Capitol Dome. This Delta City is the governor's home. The Pony Express once delivered the mail from a post in Missouri to the end of the trail. If you've been to Sacramento, you've probably seen the Capitol building. It looks just like this building with the white dome at the top. 
Here in Coloma, as the story is told, James W. Marshall discovered pure gold. The 49ers came and mined every hill and panned every stream that was near Sutter's Mill. And did you guys know that Sutter Elementary School here in Santa Clara was also named after this Sutter who discovered gold? Oh, you have to tilt your head to read this page. Now, east to Yosemite, where sequoias abound and magnificent monoliths rise from the ground. Once, Ice Age glaciers carved their way through and created a valley with a breathtaking view. Wow, tilt your head to the side and just take a look at this beautiful illustration. There's tall trees, the beautiful mountains in Yosemite, the squirrels, the moon, and all the stars in the sky. The Great Central Valley, with its plentiful yields, feeds the whole nation from its orchards and fields. This rich, thirsty farmland needs water to thrive. Canals, pumps, and dams keep this valley alive. In Death Valley's desert of salt pan and sand, dust devils twirl across wild, crusty land. Here's Furnace Creek, a sweltering spot. It's over 120. Are you getting hot? What does sweltering mean? Oh yeah, it means so hot. And when it says over 120, that means it's over 120 degrees. So hot. Yikes. Finally, Palm Springs and the end of the ride. Put up your feet and enjoy the poolside. Sit back and relax from the travel routine and remember the treasure-filled places you've seen. Boy, that looks nice, just sitting poolside, swimming in the water. What a fun time. And now take a look. We finished the book, but here are some special things that we need to learn about the state of California. Some of them we've learned before. Some of them you guys will hear about later on in your slides today. But here is California's state flag. We remember it has a stripe and a grizzly bear and a star. And then we have the state insect. We have a bear, the grizzly bear. We have the state poppy, which is our flower, the state tree, the great redwood, and many more things to explore.